six, five, four, three, two. The 3.7 liters upper main bearings are common with the base 4.7 liter, but the lower main bearings are unique. Like the 4.7 liter engine, the select fit markings for the 3.7's main bearings are located on the target wheel for the crankshaft position sensor. A floating wrist pin connects each piston to its connecting rod, and the piston and rod are serviced as an assembly. The 3.7 liter engine employs a counter-rotating balance shaft to reduce noise and vibration from the engine. Two knock sensors located under the intake manifold help prevent pre-ignition. Another new item found on the 3.7 is the longer, narrower corporate oil filter. Fully isolated stamped steel cylinder head covers are used, which are different from the magnesium cylinder head covers on the 4.7 liter engine. The 3.7 liter's exhaust valves are similar to those used in the 4.7 liter HO motor. And you should note that the intake and exhaust valve springs for the 3.7 liter have different part numbers. They are not interchangeable. The throttle position sensor is new, and because it's a Hall Effect type design, the wiring circuit is different from others. Remember to consult the service information for specific 3.7 liter component descriptions, and never use parts specified for another engine, no matter how similar they appear. Model year 2002 Jeep Grand Cherokee will have a more powerful version of the 4.7 liter engine available, the 4.7 liter high output V8. The HO motor develops 270 horsepower and 330 pound-feet of torque, both significant increases over the standard output 4.7. The September 1998 Master Tech program covered the introduction of the 4.7 liter engine, and virtually all of that information still applies. The 478JO starts with a base 4.7 liter, which has changed very little from previous years, and uses some different components to increase power. Other components are changed to accommodate this added power. Let's look at the parts that are unique to the HO. The crankshaft is made of forged steel, which is different than the cast iron crank in the base 4.7. The crankshaft damper is also unique to the HO and can't be used on any other motor. The main bearings are designed specifically for the HO engine and are not interchangeable with those on the standard 4.7 liter. The select fit markings for the main bearings are on the target wheel for the crankshaft position sensor, similar to the 4.7. The HO has pistons that are dome-shaped, which bumps the compression ratio up to 9.7 to 1. A floating wrist pin joins the piston to the connecting rod, which differs from the pressed fit pins used in the base 4.7 liter. Note that the pistons and connecting rods are serviced as an assembly. The HO engine has unique cylinder heads that use a different shape for the combustion chambers, which improves airflow. Airflow is also improved using a low restriction air intake system in the HO Grand Cherokee. The lobes on the HO's camshafts have profiles designed for increased performance. These cams can't be used in the base 4.7. The exhaust valves in the HO motor are unique, as are all the valve springs, so don't interchange any parts between engines. The spark plugs used in the 4.7 HO are platinum tipped and aren't interchangeable with any others. Additionally, two knock sensors are located in the valley under the intake manifold on the 4.7 HO. Proper torque on these sensors is critical to their operation. Another characteristic of the 4.7 liter high output motor you should know about is a unique PCM calibration. Also, the use of premium fuel is recommended. Those are the important items that make the HO different from the base 4.7. 
but be sure to consult the engine section in the service information for specific component descriptions and service procedures. Coming up next, we're going to take a closer look at the timing drive system on the 3.7 liter engine. The timing drive components in the 3.7 liter are laid out in similar fashion to the 4.7 and 4.7 liter HO engines, with the addition of a counter-rotating balance shaft. The September 1998 Master Tech program mentioned earlier has a very good look at the timing drive system on the 4.7 liter engine, including a segment devoted to the removal, inspection, and installation of timing drive components. Much of that information applies to the 3.7 liters crank and cam timing system. So in this program, we'll quickly review the timing drive components. Then we'll see how to remove and install the balance shaft. The 3.7 liter motor has a one-piece crankshaft vibration damper and pulley. Removal of the damper requires the use of special tool number 8513, an insert along with the three jaw puller, special tool number 1026. To install the crank damper, use installer number 8512 to press the damper onto the end of the crankshaft. The front cover has the water pump bolted to it, but be aware that it's not necessary to remove all the water pump bolts to get the cover off. With the front cover removed, you can see that the timing drive components are similar to the 4.7 liter engine, including the crankshaft sprocket, the idler sprocket, and the left and right side camshaft sprockets. The primary timing chain is driven off of the crank sprocket and turns the idler sprocket. A spring-loaded tensioner for the primary chain keeps it tight and a fixed chain guide keeps it running straight. The secondary timing chains run between the gear on the back of the idler sprocket to each camshaft sprocket. These are roller type timing chains, which is different than the silent chains used in the 4.7. The secondary chain tensioners are hydraulically operated using engine oil pressure. These tensioners appear identical to those in the 4.7 liter engine, but they're not interchangeable. There is also a fixed guide present for each secondary timing chain. The 3.7's counter-rotating balance shaft is centrally located in the block and is driven by the idler gear. Since the use of a balance shaft may be new to you, let's look at how to remove and install it and check its timing. You need to remove various components which are outlined in the service manual before you can access the timing components. You also need to make sure that the engine is at top dead center by lining up the marks on the crank damper and the front cover. The front cover, timing chains and sprockets, tensioners and guides also need to come off, shown here on a stand mounted engine for better illustration. As mentioned earlier, the Master Tech program on the 4.7 liter engine covers timing drive system service in detail and the procedure is similar for the 3.7 liter engine. Refer to the service information for the complete procedure. Remove the retaining bolt for the balance shaft thrust plate. Use the balance shaft remover and installer, essential special tool number 8641 at this point.